Hallelujah! Good morning and welcome once again to today's edition of Rhapsody of Realities. You have started your day right. Hallelujah! If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you in Jesus' mighty name. Today is September the 4th and our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, would like to share a message entitled, Power Over Sicknesses. Glory be to God. Our opening theme verse is from the book of Mark, chapter 16, verses 17 to 18, and I read, And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Hallelujah! Our theme scripture outlines some of the signs of our divinity. One of them is our dominion and power over sickness, disease and infirmities. Not only do we have power to cast out devils, we have power to heal sicknesses and cure diseases. Jesus made us healers. He said in the book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 8, Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received freely give. Notice he did not say, pray to me to heal the sick. He said in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19, Behold, I give unto you the power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. He made us superior to Satan, hallelujah, who is majorly responsible for most of the sicknesses that people suffer with. Why then are there Christians who are still buffeted by sickness, disease and Satan in spite of these realities? Psalms chapter 82 verses 5 to 7 gives us the answer. It says, They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. I have said, Ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Many are ignorant of God's word and as a result, they are not aware that they have power over sicknesses, disease and infirmity. They are not conscious that they have the divine life. Jesus said in the book of John chapter 10 verse 34, It is not written in your law, I said, ye are gods. Peter calls us partaker of the divine nature as read in the book of 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 4. Paul says in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 37, we are more than conquerors. Sickness really cannot and should not thrive in your body because Christ is the life of your physical body. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit in you already gave life to and vitalized your physical body as read in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 11. Believe and act on this truth today. Hallelujah. Now wherever you are, can you raise your hand and take this prayer right after me. Dear Father, you are gracious and kind. You are righteous, holy, just and true. Thank you for your life in me that makes me more than a conqueror. I live above sickness and disease. My life is excellent and full of glory. I walk in and manifest the dominion of Christ today. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Now, for your further study, kindly take some time to look up these following scriptures. From the book of Luke, chapter 9, verse 2. The book of Luke again, chapter 10, verse 9. Glory be to God. If you are born again and you have received Jesus Christ into your life, then understand something. You have power over sicknesses. Glory be to God. And if you are yet to have the power and you would like to have this power, then stay on till the end of this message and follow me as I take you through the prayer of salvation and welcome you into the life of divinity. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. See you again tomorrow. You're blessed. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ 
the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.